Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess, Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. And uh, I want to welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry based on spiritual warfare. Our ministry is based on spiritual warfare. That's why you hear our prayers is very unique and different from other people. Maybe some people, they don't like this, but it's the truth of the matter. These are the kind of the prayers you are looking for, and they just want to deliver you and set you free. As I'm going to talk this subject, it is the subject called Deliverance Prayer to Destroy Rejection and Mockery. There is this uh, spirit called rejection. Rejection or, and mockery, they are the spirit that you find many people are a victim. There is nothing you have done to be rejected. It's just a spirit. It's a demon. It's witchcraft. You have not done anything. So, if you are being rejected, it is not because of your car. It is not because of your background. It's not because you went to school or you didn't go to school. Even the educated people with the degree, with the everything, they are being rejected. So when you, are, you feel you are rejected, mockery, mockery, people are mocking you. Love yourself. Just tell yourself that you are the best. Nobody is like that. Tell, you, you, tell yourself you are, you, have, you are the best. Because you have not done anything. It's just witchcraft. It's, a, it's just evil. That is wicked, wicked power. So when this wicked power of rejection are following you, don't sit down and cry. Don't feel so bad about yourself. Just love yourself. Move on. Because this power can make you to be sad. You are miserable. You cry. You grow thin and thin. They can mock you. They can spit on you. They can do you anything but nothing you have done. It's not that you are black or you are white or you are brown or you are in the, another country. It is not so. Even the very people who are living in the same country, same, same tribe, they are rejected. Sometimes your husband can reject you. Your, your family, where you have been married, they will refuse. They don't want to see you. Even if you do good, you do what they don't want, they don't want. So there's nothing you can do about it. Just love yourself. Tell yourself good things. Tell yourself, I, Christine, I am better than everybody. My ministry is better than any other ministry. I am the best. I bridge good. I bridge to myself. <laughs> if people they don't want to come and listen, I preach to myself. And I love myself. Yeah? I don't have to worry. Whether people are coming or they are not coming. If they reject my message, it is up to them. Me, I'm doing the best. I am preaching to myself and I'm growing. I know a lot. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry and say, oh, people are not coming to my video. Are coming, not coming. I don't have to think about that. You see me coming here seven days and in a week. Seven, seven days, I always hear. I am always doing the work of God. I am doing what God has called me to do. So I'm not looking for the crowd. I'm not looking for the vibration. Sometimes they mock me. They say, oh, she talks. She doesn't speak good English, whatever. I am the best. I speak good English. <laughs> I'm the best. So I tell myself good things. I don't have to look rejection. That was, that, that, that is how you can make um, your, your enemy mad, even your husband, even your wife. Anybody who is rejecting you, you turn a rejection to positive. Remove negative. Yeah? Sometimes they don't want even, you, you can do them. Even if you do good, you do this and this. Once they reject you, they reject you. There's nothing they can do. Yeah? Even at work, when they, if they reject you, they don't want you, just do their best. You will disgrace, they will look foolish, they will look stupid. And that's how you defeat the enemy. But if you support the enemy, you feel like, oh, huh, um, so because I'm like this, because I, didn't, I don't have a degree, because I'm like, even the very degree people, they are rejected. So you are not the only one. 
Don't cry yourself. Don't bring yourself down. Don't try to bring yourself down. You remember one of my videos I said, don't let anybody to manipulate you. Don't let, don't bring yourself down. If you sense that these people, they are rejecting me, there's rejection here. You just go and grab and dance and eat. Yeah? That is, you make mad, you make the enemy mad. Even they can start fighting themselves. Even the witchcraft that has done to you, they will see, oh, our, witch, our witches is not working. And you command, you say, I reject you, you spirit of rejection, I command you to die. I reject you from my life in Jesus' name. Wherever place you in me, I destroy you. Get out of my life. So you talk to yourself, you say, anything that is marked me, this satanic mark, making people to reject me, make me to be rejected, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I am not going to reject myself. I know who I am. You know who you have, you have to Christ. Jesus loves you. God loves you. If there is nobody loves you, I love you. I personally love you. If you are looking for somebody to love you, I don't mind. I love you. Jesus loves you. We love you. So don't, 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 don't be sad. Don't be lonely. Saying, I am so lonely. I have no friend. I, I don't know what to do. We love you. I love you personally. And Jesus loves you. God loves you so much. If they rejected Jesus, they spit on Jesus, they did every evil to Jesus, what about you, my friends? My friend, what about you? If they reject you, fine, they did to Jesus. So, so if they did it to the, the Son of God, and they, they were not, even they didn't respect Jesus, besides seeing the miracles, Besides seeing what Jesus was doing, you, you have not done miracles Jesus did. You have not done anything. But Jesus is the one who resurrected the dead. He was healing people. He was setting blind to see. He was making the crippled people to walk. But they rejected him. They spit on him. They beat him. They stripped him naked. Yeah? Shame. Mockery. Yeah? But you have, you have not reached a point, a point like that. But I'm telling you that never give any, that is demon a room to your spirit. Never give yourself to the demon of rejection. Never give yourself to witchcraft rejection. If they mock you, you don't have to worry. You say, let them mock themselves. Any mockery, let them mock themselves. Let them, everything they do, let them do to themselves and their children, not you. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Let's look in the scripture. Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to give you the glory. Lord, I bleed the blood of Jesus. Lord, I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I want to thank you, God, that you are able, God, my Father. You are God. There is no other God like you, Jesus. When I look at you, I really thank you and give you the glory, Jesus. Let's look in the, in the scripture. Jesus is so good. Look at what they did to Jesus. In the book of Luke 22, verse 63 to 65. The book of Luke 22, verse 63 to 65. The Bible says, Now the men who were holding Jesus in custody were mocking him and beating him. And they were blind, bl bl blindfolded him and they were asking him, saying, Proves, who, Proves, uh, prophesies, who is the one who hates you? And they were saying many other things against him, plus mailing him. You see how they were mocking him. Yeah? They were mocking him and telling him to prophesy who was. Who has, who, has, who has hit him? Yeah? Look at what they, they said. The men, men were holding Jesus. They were mocking him. Yeah? They were, they were hit him. They beat him. They slap him. They pinch him. And they said, prophesy who has done to you like this. Yeah? Some people, they said, you say you are a prophet. You are a pro Yes, I am the best of the best. I am a, a prophet and I am a truly, truly prophet of God. So whoever has a problem, that's his problem. 
not my problem. They, they, have, they have decided to, to mock me. I don't mind. I don't look at that. They, they, are, they, are, they are the one with the problem. Me, I have no problem. Look at what they did to Jesus. If they did the son of God like this, what about you? Don't give it to this demon. Don't let the demon to operate in you. Just rejoice and give Jesus glory. Thank God. Say, God, I know you will deliver me. I know I'm not the one they are talking about. It is themselves and their children. Let's look in the book of Luke 10 verse 16. Luke 10 verse 16. The Bible says, The one who hears you hears me. And the one who rejects you rejects me. And the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. You see, Jesus has finished. He said, the, the, well, those who doesn't want to hear you, no problem. Those who reject you, no problem. Yeah? Those who reject him, they reject the heaven, the heaven father. And if you reject the heaven, what do you expect? If you reject God, if you reject the work of God. If the witchcraft, they have decided to reject the work of God and they want their work to be seen. God is not a mockery. God is not a mockery. You cannot mock God. Then you go to free. The Lord will kill you. God is not a mockery. That's why people, you must be very careful. If you are a type of people who mock others, you cannot mock God. The Bible is clearly saying here, the one who hears you, he hears me. If they don't, if, if, if they don't want to hear me, they don't want to hear me, it is up to them. Yeah? That is when they have closed heaven, they have closed their, 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 their ways. I tell people, please hear me and hear me what I'm telling you. The thing I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. This is what it is. And then if they choose to hear, that's fine. If they choose to reject it, that's fine. If they, they, they don't want to take it, they have rejected the one who sent me. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. God who has given me the work, this work. God promised me when I pray with you, he pack it up straight away. They, they say, angel, that has been assigned in this ministry. They take the prayer straight to heaven. Yeah, That's why you see, when I pray, people call me when they are sick, some are down. And when I pray for them, they, they, they get healed straight away. People who follow me, they have witnessed this. I've seen people with, with problem, issue upon problem. And when they call me, I pray with them, I stand with them, they, I give them instruction what to do. And after the following, it changes. Because you have to hear and respect. Yeah? When you are doubting, you are uh, uh, rejecting, you, because you, you feel it, it can't work. There's some people, really, even before I say amen, they have received a miracle too, straight away. I pray with some a lady. Before I could start, I started here, they were coughing, coughing nonstop. And then I told her, cough, that things would get out. Today she's fine. Yeah? So if you reject the message that we give you, you are not rejecting me. This is what the Bible says. I was reading another scripture from the book of Samuel. Samuel was saying, the, the people decide to choose the king. And they have rejected me. They have not rejected me somewhere. They have rejected God himself. If they rejected God, God himself, they are finished. They, they cannot go anywhere. Because God will destroy them. Let the enemy destroy themselves. Anybody rejected, rejecting you, let them reject themselves in Jesus' name. Wherever they go, let them be rejected in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will deliver you. This demon of rejection, and as I've talked to you, don't sit down and think and think and, and beat yourself and feel sorrow to yourself. Don't. Just move on with your life. If they close this door, go to another one. If they rejected your application, your, your, your resume, go to another company. Make sure that you don't be sad and don't give it to this spirit. Move on with your life. Even if it's your husband, you have done everything good. He doesn't want to appreciate. He doesn't want to see you. That's fine. He's rejected himself. He has rejected himself. 
You do good and see what is going to happen to him. That's why the Bible says, do good to your enemy. Do good and do good. That's where the, the Bible applying to do them good. And you see what is going to happen. Because the people who reject you, they, they, they are the people who knows you. They know you very well. They decided to frustrate you, to kill you early, early dead. They want to frustrate you, to, to, to infect you with sickness and diseases. Because you will feel sorry, you will come down crying. You feel like, you, what did you do? You have not done anything. It's witchcraft. It's a spirit. You have not done anything. Nothing you have done. So don't, 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 don't feel sorry to yourself. Don't feel sad where you are. It's the spirit of witchcraft. That is the spirit which is operating. I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to destroy that, that spirit in you, in your bloodline, in your children, in whatever anybody is, who is rejecting you. Today this prayer is going to catch them like a machine gun. It is going to be cut and be thrown away. If they are not going to repent, it is up to them. The prayer does not go free. This prayer does not go free. If, the, if there is demons, if there is evil people, if there is witchcraft, that is rejecting you planting rejection in, in your life, this prayer is going to cut them and they will not go free. That's why you need to listen very attentive and pray with your spirit and, and repent any sin in you because you can be an enemy by yourself. I've said don't reject yourself. Just repent and ask God to forgive you if you have been rejecting yourself because you can give up. You just give up because you have, you, have, you have tried this. Wherever you go, people, they don't want you. Everything doesn't work for you. Don't, don't, don't let it continue. Like, don't let it continue like that. Just uh, be happy with yourself. Love yourself. Go and buy a cup of tea yourself. Go to, to the post office. Send yourself a card if nobody is sending you a card. Be happy. If it's the party day, nobody is telling you happy party day. Don't worry about it. Those are the ritual things which will make you sick for nothing. Yeah, Your time will come when people will come to look for you. They will come to look for you. When you start loving yourself, put on your nice, nice, nice dress and make your hair, makeup and, and move on. Don't go sit down like this. You, you say, so now, um, I don't know. You, you become very bitter. When you you become bitter, you welcome the demon of bitter and bitterness will, will come and the demon will jump in your heart. You arrive and then your life will change to be miserable. Make sure that don't give a room to enemy. Let's pray. My father, in the name of Jesus, as I come before you right now, I command every, every evil foundation upon which your life has been built, I command them to receive deliverance by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to receive deliverance by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that every rejection that is older than you, but is affecting you, I, I command them to release you and die in the mighty name of Jesus. You can reject it when you were born. Immediately when you were born, you can be rejected. Because maybe your parents wanted a boy or a girl. Now all they didn't want a child. You know some child... People, you, you didn't come, you didn't bring yourself. It there was a man and a wife, a woman. They come together and they met you. Now, when you are in the womb, they rejected. They want to abort you. They want to kill you. They reject you. Yeah. So when you come out, you have that spirit of rejection throughout. But now I am praying for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of rejection from the womb. I command you to die. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am asking the blood of Jesus to clear, to, to clean you. I am asking the power and the blood of Jesus to clean you completely from that demon of rejection. In the mighty name of Jesus. Inheritance rejection, generational rejection, foundational rejection, following you, uh, following you about. I shake you off. I command you to shake off and get out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. I am releasing you from generational rejection, from inherited rejection, from foundational rejection, following you. Let it die 
Let them shake out and go in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a spirit of rejection. You feel like everything you do, it's not working. Something is not right. Let that spirit be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yoke of corrective rejection affecting your life. I command them to break and die. Let them break into pieces and die. They shall not be repaired. They will not be repaired in the name of Jesus. No human being will repair them. No body will repair them in Jesus' name. When they are destroyed, let them be destroyed completely from your life in Jesus' name. Yes, God is God. It is not you. As you know, some people, they, they can make a child. And because they don't want this child, instead of killing, the, killing you when you are a baby, they, they get you and throw you in the garbage. Like in Africa, we used to get a lot of children who are thrown away to die. Some they die, some we rescue them. Now this child, when they grow, they have that spirit and bitterness, the spirit of rejection. They become very wild. They become very bad children. But because we understand, we lay our hands and we rebuke that spirit from them. Then they, 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 we help them. But when you have such a kids, such a children, or the child is married to your home like that, with that spirit, because she has that spirit already, she can even divide the home. And, the, and people can start fighting themselves. Because a spirit of rejection has come. Now, if you are the one like that type of as somebody like that, God still loves you because you, are, you have life. Rebuke that spirit, command that spirit because you did not bring yourself. It was a demon that has entered to your parents and they decided to reject you. Now, that is a spirit of witchcraft. The witchcraft has entered to your parents and they have rejected you. When they have rejected you, don't worry about it. Just speak to that rejection spirit. Command them to die, to be roasted, and get out of your blood. Get out from your life in Jesus' name. You know that you are rejected. If you don't know, you will see everything you are doing, it's, nobody wants it. That's when you know that you are being rejected. Rejection, I cut you, I cut your power. Rejection, I cut your power completely in the name of Jesus. You are rejection, I cut you into pieces. You spirit of rejection in this life of this person. My brother from Baram, from Barnum. Don't don't feel that you are rejected. I am taking authority by the power and the blood of Jesus. I am destroyed. I am command this rejection to die. I cut them off into pieces. I am praying for a woman. You, feel you have been rejected so much. Even sometimes you feel like you are going to commit suicide. Don't commit suicide. I am destroying that demon right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command them to be destroyed. I command them to get out and out in the name of Jesus. Let them get, get out and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let them get out and out and go where Jesus wants them to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know Jesus... When he was casting demons from, from this man, a, a crazy man, a mad man who was in the, in the book of Mark 5, the man of Gandhara. He was a mad man, a very aggressive man. The demon asked Jesus to enter into pits, and they entered there and they thrown into the sea and they died there. So sometimes people, they wonder if demons are dying or not, but what the Bible tells us, those, those pigs, they were thrown and they went to the sea and drawn there, which means they died, all of them. So now that spirit, let it go wherever Jesus wants them to go and die in the mighty name of Jesus. That, that spirit of rejection, if it dies, it will not come back to you, which means we don't want any to, to be alive to come back to you in Jesus' name. Somebody was asking me, if you pray for me, do you think the demon will come back again? The Bible says, when an evil spirit gets out of a person, it will come and enter if it finds the place is, is dry. But if it doesn't find the place, it will go. So the demon, the best thing we can do to them is to command them to die and get out of your life completely in Jesus' name. They should not get any room to come back again. Oh God of suddenly, arise quickly in your spirit and favor you now in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that let your dream life receive fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh revelation in the name of Jesus. Those people who does not dream, I pray that let your dream life receive fire, receive refresh anointing, and fresh revelation in Jesus' name. I want you to pray like this. Treasure, our India, anybody who can write what I'm, write, I'm saying, write it down. Write like this. My dream life, receive fresh fire, receive anointing, fresh revelation, and in the name of Jesus. I want everybody to repeat that prayer point before you go to sleep or when you are going to work. Just say, my dream life, receive fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh revelation, in the name of Jesus. You pray that prayers you will see. If you are going to sleep tonight, you, you are going to see what dream you are going to receive. If you are going to work, you continue praying that, that, that prayer. You, your dream life will change. You are not going to, yes, my dream life, receive fresh fire, fresh anointing. Yes, stress, that's good. And yes, my dream life, receive fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh revelation in the name of Jesus. That's what you pray. Pray that dream. You are not going to have that dream which is threatening you, bad dreams, molesting you, spirit, husband, sex, husband. When you pray this prayer tonight, you will see. You will call me and tell me what dream you had in the name of Jesus. God is going to give you a good dream. That spirit of rejection is going to be get out of, and from your spirit, and God is going to give you a fresh dream, a fresh revelation. No spirit of rejection will have a room in your heart. In your brain, in your mind, in your bread, in your blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse of rejection running in your family line that has overshadowed your blessings, I command them to break to pieces by fire in Jesus' name. I am speaking to you right now. I command every curse of rejection running into your, your, your family line that has overshadowed your blessings break by fire and be destroyed completely in the name of Jesus. I pray that the miracle that will promote your name, let it locate you and by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, there's a prayer we say, Oh God of Elijah, answer my name, answer your name in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer your name in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God of Elijah, answer your name in my life in the name of Jesus. So this prayer, when you pray like that, you pray that the that, that miracle that promotes your name, locate me by fire in the name of Jesus. The promotion, the miracle that will promote your name. Do you know Dr. Morris Seruro? He was poor like everybody else. Then one day, he had a meeting. When he was just young, they have married, they didn't have money, they didn't have anything. And then he was, uh, he, he, he didn't know what to do. Then he managed to make the flyer. So this flyer, there were some people, there was a campaign, and the campaign people were passing by. And then they, 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 they are, the, the video of those people who were campaigning, they picked that flyer because the flyer was somewhere where the, the video was passing by. And then when the news was, new, when the, the, the news was coming in the, in the television, his flyer was was the one which people saw. Now everybody followed his meeting because it was they saw that fly and they went and this is a man who can pray for us, miracles of healing and whatever. So they followed him like that and that's when God advertised his name. He didn't pay even 10 cents. It was free advertised. So the Lord will advertise your name and that name will promote. You may, you may be surprised you may find yourself being announced and, and people, they will be shocked and say, how, how this person who is poor, how did he manage to get money to, to go and uh, advertise his, his, his business or his name in the television or wherever? The Lord can do a miracle. God is a miracle God. Therefore, I pray that God Almighty will advertise your name to promote you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your job, your job, that you have been rejected, you cannot get the right job. Everywhere you go, I told you, don't worry, don't say because you are like this, your background, whatever. Don't say like that. Say, I thank you, God, because I know you have better things for me in the name of Jesus. Don't be sad. Even if they don't call you, your time is coming. You will get better things than, 
than, than, what that, than that one. I pray that Father will bring back the really you that the enemy stolen. The, the Lord will bring it really you. Now you are not yourself, but, the, the, but, but God is going to bring you really you. And the whole world will say, yes, there is God in heaven. Who knows, who knows that you are his child? I pray that God would deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let the multiplication anointing graduate to expose anointing to your life in Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I come out, I command every satanic prison to come out of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that make your enemies bring rejection unto his, his, his own life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the enemy bring rejection to themselves. Let it start rejecting themselves and let you go free in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of rejection in your life, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, I want to thank you, God. I want to bless your name and give you the glory in Jesus' name. Everyone that has been rejected, tonight we destroy that spirit. I destroy them. I command that the spirit of rejection to come out to come out in the name of Jesus. I am cursing them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I curse it. I curse them. I curse you the spirit of rejection. You are the great enemy. Today your people must be set free and, and free indeed in Jesus' name. Spirit of mockery, I command you to die. Anybody that is mocking you, let that mockery to go back where it came from. Let it be destroyed by fire, by thunder in the name of Jesus. People are mocking you, calling you names. I pray that all the names they are calling you, they will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children. You know, they can reject you, even your children. They reject. But I pray that God Almighty will wash you and clean you and clean your name. Where they have rejected you, they will accept you. Where they have been mocking you, they will call you good names again. They will come for help. God will promote you like the way he promoted Joseph. Look at that, what, what happened to Joseph. Joseph and the same Joseph who became a helper to his, to his family. He is the one, is, you will become the helper. What, those people are rejecting you, they will come for help. It has happened and it is going to happen. The Jesus, they rejected, they mocked. When Jesus was selected, they saw him. And they, 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 they didn't believe that it's this Jesus. They were still thinking that, no, it's not Jesus. But the, his disciples saw him. And even Thomas said, no, 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 you are not the one. Say, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. It is better to believe. Blessed is the person who believes than who does not believe. Thomas got a curse for no reason because he didn't believe. So Jesus said, blessed is a person who believes than who does not believe. Yeah? So the blessings goes to a person who believes than who does not believe. Therefore, I believe that God Almighty, God who loves you so much, he has plans for you. He does not have any evil plans. God has the best plan for you. God has good plans for you. So don't give up. Don't reject yourself. Just keep on. Push on. Press on. You will make it from tonight, from change your behaviors. Start loving yourself. Remove that mentality. Say, I love myself. If nobody loves me, I love myself. And Christine loves me and God loves me. Just tell yourself like that. Honestly, we love you. I love you. Jesus loves you. God loves you. So don't be lonely. Don't, don't reject yourself. Call me. If you need prayers, if you need me to talk to you and 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 pray with you call me my number is 647 hallelujah 608 5207 or you can call us our landline 905 487 7196 our website www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca 
You can reach us. Email is easy. Overcomers DH M at gmail.com. We have Skype. We have um, Hangout. We have uh, uh, WhatsApp. So we have so many stuff to reach us. Our numbers have reached, I don't know, 10 countries now. The same code, access code number. People from England, they are online right now. People from Australia, they are on the line. People from, uh, from, from USA, they are on the line. People from Canada, they are on the line. There's, God has given us the, the, the grace. Now we have even German, Holland, all over the world. God has given us grace that they have local number. They don't pay. They just call the access code number is the same. So wherever you call in the world, even in Kenya, they have local number. So you call there, then the, num the access code number is the same. So it comes to here. All the calls is like a, like a, like what? What do you call it? Bull, like a, a, a sweet ball, where that they receive everything. So I thank God that God is good. I pray that God is good. So I, uh, you can share this number. You can give to your friends. Our prayer line numbers. Uh, yes. Uh, number for uh, Canada. Six. Uh, Canada number. A prayer line. Eight six seven two nine two three zero three zero. The number for Canada. You can pass it to friends. You can give them. They can call and come for prayer. Uh, the, the access code number is the same number. It's 9625184. In states, states the number is 712-832-8330. The code number is the same. 9625184. So pass it to your friends for them to come. There are some people who cannot come to Periscope. There are some people who cannot, they don't know how to come to online, but the phone is used for them. And that's many people, they, are, they, are, they want that. But if they can come to Periscope, that's fine. I thank God tonight that God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. I have to stop here. This is your host, Prophetess, Dr. Christine Isiki, saying bye-bye to you. See you tomorrow midnight tomorrow midnight tomorrow 12 midnight see you god bless you so much have a wonderful time bye bye